Good morning, friends. It's time for our weekly devotional again. And this morning I want to touch on Psalm 42 verse 5. And this is a, a psalm written about the story or the time, the season when David had to flee his own city. He had to run for his life because his own son was persecuting him. His own son was chasing him down and wanting his life. So it was really, really a bad time in David's life. And he just had to pick up and pack up everything and just had to go. He had to leave everything that he loved behind. And then this psalm was written. And verse 5 says the following. Let me just remind you. It says, Why, my soul, are you so downcast within me? And then it says, Put your hope and your trust in the Lord. And then he responds in that same verse. He says, As for me, I will keep on praising the Lord. I want to just quickly explain this to you. It seems like this psalm is written about a conversation where David has a conversation with himself. It's David, from David to David. David from his higher being, which is his spirit man, speaking to his soul, which is his mind, his will, emotions, his, his intellect. So it's like he's speaking from the spirit and what he understands to be true in his spirit to his mind. And now he says, so why my soul? So from the spirit speaking to his mind, his soul, why my soul are you so downcast? Please put your hope and your trust in God. So David says, in my spirit, I believe that you, your hope is in God. Your trust should be in God. And because your trust is in God, you shouldn't be so downcast, my soul. What I hear here is, it is very easy that we can, because of what we see outside, what we hear, what we read and what people tell us, and it infiltrates our mind, come to a place where we feel downcast in our minds, in our soul person and our soul being, and then ignoring what we believe to be true in our spirit. So there's this tension, there's this conflict between the spirit and the soul. And now David says, well, even though it is true that we battle in our minds, in our soul, from my spirit, I will keep on praising and as I praise God for what I believe is true and what will always be true, this praise from my spirit will infiltrate my mind and it will take me from downcast to hopeful. So I want to summarize this. It is very true that because of what you go through today, that you might fall into the trap of feeling downcast because your mind, your soul is so full. But spend time with God, spend time in the word, listen to music, with great lyrics and, and fill your spirit so that from the spirit you can confess, you can praise, you can let out what you believe God is, who you believe he is to be. And then from that place stand strong and slowly but surely your soul will catch up. It's impossible for us to always control what we get into this, into us in, in our soul being but it's very possible to control and to make sure that your spirit is full with the truth of who God is and how he loves you and who you are in the hands of God. So my inspiration or my challenge actually to you today is make sure that you keep on praising in season, out season. Praise God. Tell of his goodness from here so that your mind will catch up. May the mind, the soul always follow the spirit and not the other way around. Be blessed and keep going.